At first, the Gutierrez Uggen team thought the missing pages may have been a simple clerical mistake, either made by themselves or by Guam Election Commission staff members. But campaign treasurer John Jr. Calvo says they've reviewed their records and found that they had indeed turned in a complete report. Now that we were able to factor out that it was not a clerical accident, um, I think uh, it's, it's safe to say that um, um, partisan politics may be pl playing a role in, in the scheme of things here. Calvo gave PNC News a copy of the report stamped received by the Guam Election Commission and with all pages accounted for. So what of these mainland Republican operatives they're talking about? With regard to that, I think one of the examples that we can use is Jason Osborne, who's made himself known to local media, um, who used to work um, in the mainland for Republi an Alaska, uh, a Republican-Alaskan uh, candidate, and now he's on Guam. Um, just after the arrival of Michael Still, he's, uh, and we believe that he's working here as, as an operative. Calvo Tenorio campaign chairman Mike Benito says this is simply false. Jason Osborne came from the Republican National Committee. Uh, he, he helps out with the you know Republican camps as as all camps do. Is he an operative? No. Um, is he a consultant? Yes. He's not, and by the way, he's not even here. Benito says these types of accusations are something they've come to expect from the Gutierrez Uggen campaign. You know, Carl Gutierrez and, and Frank Uggen, uh, they're seasoned politicians, and for their camp to to even suggest that is is um, is unfortunate. 